Hey guys, so I'm not really doing anything right now, so I figured I'd share an Ulta haul with you for the September circular of Ulta. There's quite a bit of deals going on and stuff, so I wanted to show you what I got and what kind of deals and coupons that I used to get them. So let's get started. First off, I got five Ulta brand nail polishes. Right now they're $2 each, and the coupon for Ulta is $3.50 off of $10, so five nail polishes, $2 each is $10. So I got them all for about $6.50 or $7.50 or whatever. So the first one that I got is this purple. It is in Ultraviolet Femme, and it's super neon. I have it on my nails right now. It's not neon, but it's like, it's so awesome. I have it on my nails right now with an accent nail, but so there, there it is. I really love this color, and I'm really glad I got it. It was only $2. I've never tried their nail polishes before, and I always use OPI, so this was quite a surprise for $2. I really like it. The next Ulta nail polish I got is this bright yellow. I got it for the Michigan football games that I go to, and this is in Sensational. Um, I actually used this on Saturday, and I have to say it stained my nails yellow, so I don't know if I really like this or if I need to use more of a base coat or something. Um, I did use a base coat, but it's still stained, so I don't know how I feel about this. This color is probably my favorite one that I picked up from Ulta. It is in Love Fern, and it's this sparkly, glittery, glitter, glitter, bleh? It's this sparkly, uh, teal, turquoise color, and it just looks so pretty in the bottle, and I can't wait to put it on my nails. I hope that it doesn't go on sheer, though, because I don't really want to use a color under it. So, we'll see how that goes. These two nail polishes from Ulta are this rainbow glitter nail polish in Pinata Yada Yada. <laughs> That's a funny name. I have it on my nails, like I said, with that purple color from earlier. I really like how it looks, and I'm wondering how it'll look with other colors. Um, I just tried it with the purple because I wanted to wear the purple. And then the last one is also a glittery nail polish. It's a blue to go with the Michigan nails that I was just talking about. And it is in Indigo Girl, Indigo Go Girl. <laughs> so that's Those are all the nail polishes I got from Ulta. Now moving on to the makeup. The first thing I got is this Benefit Ultimate Sexy Six. <laughs> Um, it was $24, and I guess it's an Ulta exclusive, since Ulta is in quotation marks. And this little thing is deluxe samples of Posy Tint, Ben, uh, High Beam, That Gal, which is a primer, uh, Bad Girl Lash Mascara, the Hula Bronzer, and Stay Don't Stray, which is an eyeshadow primer and concealer primer. So I'm really excited to try those. The only thing that I've tried in this so far is the Bad Gal Lash because I've owned it before and it works okay on my lashes, but I'm really excited to try High Beam and Posy Tint. There was a deal going on at Ulta that if you spent $25 in Benefit Cosmetics that you got this um, deluxe sample of the Professional Primer and everyone raves about this so I'm really excited. It's just like a little um, 0.25 ounce sample of it so it's not big but you get to see how it is but this was really cool that you got a makeup bag with it and it's uh, based off like the poor fashional thing it says the poor fashional action figure plus touch up pro case and on the back it says includes poor zapping ray gun I just thought that was really cute the ultimate sexy six pack was only $24 but I did end up getting my eyebrows done at the benefit brow bar and that counted towards the $25 so if you do want a review on that and how brows are at the brow bar, uh, just let me know and I can make one. I really like it, but I can go into detail if you guys want. Also at Ulta, I picked up the Too Faced 3-Way Lash Lining Tool. It's this eyeliner that you can use for your tight line or waterline or lash line, however you want to use it. And it has these three prongs that, um, that make it so it has little dots when you line your lashes and it makes your lashes look fuller and I have really bad lashes so this really helps making them uh, stand out instead of uh, just tight lining with a regular eyeliner. I really like it and it's kind of, um, I guess you would consider it a liquid eyeliner because it's like a felt tip. But um, we'll see how it works so far. I've been liking it but it does smudge a bit so if you guys have any tips on how not to get eyeliner to smudge anywhere <laughs> just let me know. I've tried, you know, setting it with um, eyeshadow and that doesn't really work for me so if you guys 
know of anything, do let me know. But um, if you spent, I think it was $25, if you spent $25 of Too Faced Cosmetics, then you got this Too Faced Retractable um, Powder Brush. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this box. And it's so little. I mean, look at this. It's just so cute. There's a little bow on it. And you pull off the cap and pull this down. And it's just this little brush. And it's super soft. Um, it feels really good. And I think it'd be really great to keep in your purse if you want to have, like, powder touch-ups. You could even use it with, like, bronzer or whatever. But I don't really carry a lot of makeup in my purse, so I'd probably just use it for loose powder. The next thing I'm really excited to talk to you guys about is the Neutrogena Shine Control Primer and Shine Control Powder. These are two for 18 at Ulta right now and they also have samples right by these out or at least at my Ulta they do so you can take them home and try them if you want to first. But on those samples it's really awesome because they have two dollars off of a product, a Neutrogena Shine Control product on the sample. So if you bring home two samples and you end up liking them, you can get both of these. They're supposed to be two for 18, but if you use $2 coupons on each of them, it's two for 14. Also, if you do the $10, uh, or sorry, if you do $3.50 off $10 purchase on the Ulta coupons, they end up being like $11 for both of these. So I think that's like a really awesome uh, deal. I haven't tried this one yet, but I have had like five of the samples so far and I really like it. Um, I have opened this one and I actually brought this to the football game in case I needed to touch up oily spots and I really like how these two work. I'm totally sorry because I'm totally looking at myself in the screen right now and I normally don't do that so I apologize if I've just been like oh hey Jessica what's up. <laughs> but um anyways the next like I guess this is the big splurge because Really, I don't know. I did not need this. I have both the Naked 1 and Naked 2 palettes. But these just came out at Ulta. This is the Feminine Urban Decay palette. And, oh my goodness, I'm in love. Just just look at this. Um, it has six shades, and it comes with a lip gloss. And it was $36, which is kind of expensive, considering the Naked palette has, like, 12 colors, and it comes with a lip gloss, or the Naked 2 does, at least. And that was $50. So $36 for only six shades is kind of a, a bummer. <laughs> but these are really pretty shades. Comes in Bordello, Skimp, ACDC, Gunmetal, Hijack, and Lost. And I don't own any of these shades yet. So I'm like really excited. I like the lip gloss. The lip gloss that comes in it is Wallflower which this is not the one that comes in the Naked palette, so it's nice to have a little bit of a mix on things. But um, the reason why I did decide to get this is I did have a coupon for my birthday, so I was like, or not coupon, I had a gift card. I had a gift card for my birthday, and I was just waiting to spend it on something, and I figured that I would splurge. And also, um, you got a free little mini primer potion if you bought, I think it was $25 of any Urban Decay purchase. So um, I don't have that with me, I don't know where I put it, but it's in the new tube and that's why what really sold me is because those primers last forever. You don't even need a full size. Like if you keep buying Urban Decay products that come with travel size, you'll be set. Like I have backups upon backups, but they're all of the old like tube sides that like have the wand. And this new one has just the, you squeeze tube. So I'm really excited and that's kind of what sold me. I was like, oh, I really want to try it. It's better. It's easier to get the product out. So that's why what kind of sold me on getting that palette. But also I really liked the colors. Um, the last three things. Okay. So um, I didn't get this on this trip, but I did recently get this and I just wanted to show you guys um, the Essence Gel Eyeliner. Let me recap that. So I've used it quite a bit because I've had it for like two weeks. But um, I used to use the e.l.f. gel eyeliner and it just became so hard to work with. It dried up and everything. I probably had it for over six months. So that's to be expected. It was like $3. So this one I think is $3.99 at Ulta and I decided to get it. And I'm really liking it so far. Um, if you guys haven't tried this one, if you're using like... um the e.l.f. gel eyeliner. Do try this one out. I do like it better and it seems much creamier than the gel one or the e.l.f. one had ever been. The last two things I got are NYX products. Right now at Ulta, NYX is buy one get one 50% off. 
I have been oogling over this lip gloss because its name is Jessica and it's just the sheer pink gloss it's kind of nude it doesn't really give any color but putting it on the center of my bottom lip um, really makes it pop and since it's my name I was like oh I need this but I don't know why I refuse to buy products when they're not on sale um, especially at Ulta because I know NYX is on sale like every single like week or every other week so I waited for it to be on sale and I did also pick up the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation in 03 Natural. Um, and I've been using this, um, I've been using this when I don't really want to do makeup. Either I've been using it on its own or I've been using a BB cream and setting the BB cream with this to give it a little bit more coverage. It's very smooth and like silk feeling. And um, I don't use it as a regular setting powder with re like heavier foundation because that'd be too much heavy coverage for me. Um, that's why I got the Neutrogena Shine Control Powder. But this I'm really liking so far and the lip gloss is my name and how can I not love that? So those are the things that I picked up at Ulta in the past like week, week and a half. If you want reviews on anything, please let me know. There's a lot of good deals. If you use the coupons and everything on all this, it's pretty much worth it right now. They're, those are cheap prices. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.